The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this video I'm going to show you how to draw the front view of the shaft guide which is project 4.3 in your text. The first thing I want to do after creating my layers and setting up my units and my limits is to go up to my layer control and find the miter box layer and turn it on. So I'm just going to pick on the light bulb. And what that does is it turns on the miter box that the authors put into this drawing for you to construct the front, the top, and the right side view of the shaft guide inside of. So your front view is going to start in this corner of the miter box and fit right in here and the top view will be here and the right side view will be on this side. The next thing I want to do is set visible as the current layer. Alright, so I'm ready to start drawing the front view and I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle for the base. The base of the shaft guide is 106 millimeters wide by 12.7 millimeters high and if you study the dimensions in the, in the sketch you can see that. So I'm going to choose the rectangle command and when I'm prompted for the first corner, I'm going to snap to the lower left corner of the miter box. I'm going to pick with the left click button of my mouse. And then I'm going to move in that direction, just up and to the right. And then I'm going to type in those two coordinates. So I'm going to type 101.6 comma 12.7 and press enter. And that draws the base for the shaft guide. The next thing I'm going to do is add the large circle that's located right up in this area here. If I study the sketch, I'll see that I have a diameter of 38.1 for that larger circle and that that circle is located by measuring from this corner over here, which would be this corner of my rectangle. And looking at those coordinates, I can see that if I measure from this corner 50.8 in the x direction, and I measure up 63.5, that would be the center for that circle. And since I know the diameter for this circle, when I go up and choose the circle command, I'm going to also pick on the down arrow first and make sure that I pick the center diameter option. All right, now that I've picked that, I'm prompted to select the center point of the circle. So here's what you should do. Type the word from, F-R-O-M, and press enter. This lets AutoCAD know you're going to locate that circle from a known point. And so I'm being prompted right now by AutoCAD to identify that point, which AutoCAD calls a base point. That would be this corner here. So I'm going to pick the left click button on my mouse. And now I'm going to type in those two coordinates. But one thing I have to look at is that relative to that corner, I'm going 50.8 in a negative x axis. So I have to enter it like that. So here's what you're going to type. Type the at symbol, which is necessary when you use the from command. And then I'm going to type minus 50.8 comma and then 63.5 and press enter. And that locates the center of the circle relative to that corner there on the right hand side. Now I'm being prompted for the diameter, and as I said before, that's 38.1 millimeters, so I'm just going to type in 38.1 and press enter. Alright, the next step is to draw a line from this corner tangent to that circle, and then a line from this corner over here tangent to the opposite circle over here on the opposite side. So one of the things I want to do is check my object snaps that I have set down here on my status bar. Now this is the object snap icon and right next to that there is a arrow that's pointing down. We call that a down arrow. Pick on that and I can see that I have endpoint object snap set and midpoint and center. I have quadrant and intersection. I also have perpendicular and tangent and tangent is the one that I'm going to need to perform this. Alright so you can just come over here and pick in the field of your drawing and that'll close your the down arrow box, that little pop-up box that we had open. Okay, so I'm going to select 
the line command and when it asks me to specify the first point I'm going to snap to this corner on the rectangle and then I want to move up and I want to snap to the to the tangency point now be careful that you don't snap to the quadrant the quadrant looks like a diamond and it'll say the word quadrant if you put your mouse on there I want to move up a little bit higher and you can see there's a symbol it's a circle with a line across the top that's the tangent icon symbol and it even tells me tangent so I'm going to pick right there then I'm going to press escape now if I press enter it will bring me back to the last command which was the line command so I'm just going to press enter which puts me back into the line command and I'm prompted for the first point so I'm going to go to the opposite corner of that rectangle I'm going to pick there and I'm going to move up onto that circle until I find the tangency and pick again and then I'm going to press escape to get out of the line command the next thing I want to place is the smaller circle that's located right in here and when I look at the dimensions in the sketch I see that there's a diameter 19 circle with a leader pointing to it so that's the diameter that I need right here I'm going to come back up to my circle and remember the last time that I used it I used center diameter so that will be the default so I'm just going to pick on the circle command and when it asks me to locate the center point I can see in my sketch that those two circles the first one that I drew and the one I want to draw now are concentric that is they both have the same center point so if I move my cursor near the edge of the first circle that I drew its center point will light up and I'll see a little plus sign there and all I need to do is put my cursor on that it'll locate the center and just pick now I'm asked for the diameter and I know that the diameter when I look over here at my sketch is 19 so I'm just going to type 19 and press enter alright so now I'm missing a visible line that should be right in this area somewhere you can see it over here that lines result of the 45 degree angle that I'm going to add when I draw the top view so for right now I'm not going to draw that line in I'm going to draw the top view and then project that down another thing a feature that I'm going to leave off is there is a diameter 19 hole that goes through right over in this area and I'm just going to leave it off for now because I'm going to wait until I've drawn that in the top view as a circle and then I'll project the hidden lines and the center line down to the front view for that one so hopefully I'll remember to come back and add those features after I draw the top view alright so that ends the front view and uh, the next view I'm going to draw is going to be the top view